What in the world? Not real. The talent available in this world now. Hey, it's Josephine from The Point Shop. We are doing a gender reveal today. So wait until the end of the video if you wanna know what my baby is gonna be or guess in the comments. Don't reveal on the comments, just guess, okay? I'm really excited for the series because it's gonna be a no cringe, shockingly amazing dancers. Okay, this first video is Brady Farrar. If you don't know who he is, he's part of the ABT studio company. Oh my gosh, hops. Oh, so majestic. How do you not stop time and watch him dance? The word is majestic. This is insane. He's part of the studio company and everything just looks so incredibly effortless. It is absolutely insane. Maya, my girl. Maya is one of the craziest dancers that's up and coming from Masters Ballet. I think I just came across her on Instagram. She's so casual about it. Look at this. What? She's so casual. Look at her, she's a queen. That's insane. I also love that she's in basketball shorts right now. <laughs> this talent is insane. Jay Dyer. Oh my, the athletic, what, what was this? I thought it was part of it because it was so graceful the way that it went down. Okay, Maria Kochakova. One of my favorite dancers of all time. She was a principal dancer at San Francisco Ballet. Oh my gosh. I don't know when this started, but this is crazy because pointches are already pretty unstable standing on a flat surface because it's so tilted. And to stand on a BOSU ball is crazy. This equals rolled ankles. Look at that control. I think she recently had a baby too and she was dancing through her third trimester and she still looked perfect. Crazy. This is like beautiful camera work. The control, are you real? What in the world? It's so pretty. I feel like it's just like not real. It's so crazy, the talent that's available in this world now. Okay, this is Maddie Wu. <laughs> Maddie was the point shop model back in 2014 when she was a little baby, and now she is the principal dancer at Swedish National Ballet. She is absolutely stunning, has always been stunning. Look at her feet, this is so insane. I remember when we did the photo shoot with her, the photographer was like, holy, her legs are so whacked out, it's insane. Look at her, just absolute perfection. She just stays in the air forever and ever. If you watch all of the other dancers, they're already on their way down while she's still hanging up in the air. It's crazy. Look at her. How could you not watch her when she's dancing? It's like everything else fades away. Okay, we got some real OGs up in here now. Okay, Danielle Simkin. Oh my gosh! Okay, this is, when I first saw Danielle, I was like, does gravity not exist for you? That is so crazy. The best part of this video is the dancers watching him from the backstage. Oh my gosh. Oh. That's so hard. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. He's like barely breathing hard. Okay, so amongst the professional dancers, they always say that when Danil turns, He'll like wind up before he turns like a top. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, who's this dancer? Oh my gosh. Woo! Oh my gosh. In ballet, they always complain that men are just the frame. I'm just kidding. But when Daniel is on stage, he be the picture. Maria Koreva. Oh, she's teaching class. And for 
If I was in her class, I would straight up be like, I'm sorry, what did you, I was not paying attention to the combination at all. I was just looking at your feet and your legs. Two, be careful. And three, and four. This is her and teaching a class. I did watch her point shoe hacks and, and she wears block and, and she customizes and them by like cutting out the shank and everything. If I can choose between tricks and like just extensions, I think I'd rather watch extensions. Just like beautiful lines. Oh my gosh, I love that there's so many of my OG favorite dancers in this. Marianella Nunez, look at her face. She's in class right now. What? Oh, this is like the perfect variation for me to watch her dance. Cause like, there's something so like bubbling and joyful when she's dancing, but like contained at the same time. Like when you watch her, don't you want to just, I can't even like, I, I can't even close my mouth when I'm watching her. She's so perfect. Shoes are perfect. I think this is one of the few dancers where if I just watched her neck up, I would still enjoy it thoroughly. Okay, this is Mei Nagahisha. I actually watched her when she was a student. And even back then, this was many, many years ago, my jaw was on the floor. I didn't even know who she was. I did a fitting with her and then I watched her on stage and I haven't seen her since she's become a professional. And I think she's the first soloist at Marinsky. Yes. Just that lingering. That is so beautiful. Okay, honestly, between this and like doing a bajillion turns, I'd watch this. But you see what I'm saying? There's like this moment that she hangs on to. Oh, oh my gosh, more of this. I want more. Skylar! On two feet. She is the music box ballerina. Okay, and then this is the other dancer from Master of Ballet that I was like, wait, there are two of you? That's insane. I've only met Melanie once, right before she went to Pre de Lausanne. Gorgeous. I mean, like, what is in their water? Like, what are they feeding them? What is happening? Why are there so many of you in the same place? So pretty. Yeah, it was fun seeing her compete at Pretty Lausanne this year. That was incredible. Here we go, here we go, here we go. That's so insane. I think she's done like 12 pirouettes. That's crazy. I was like, it used to be cool to do like triples. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> the talent now is like, upsetting it's so much okay so this was our model 2022 and she won as a junior and i think she won when she was 13 years old and we were like how are you 13 oh this is her black swan oh i saw this in real life i saw her perform this at ygp she's stunning i mean this is her role There's something so fierce and confident, the way that she dances, she completely transforms when she's on stage. It's scary beautiful. Like if you see her in real life, you're like, oh, she's so cute, so sweet, da da da. And then you see her on stage and you're like, 
what in the world? Like, where, who, what alien are you? Like, you're just so perfect. Like, the way that she is. Oh. Look at her. Okay, you guys, she's 13 years old. To nail this artistry down is like, it's so much more, like she's a beautiful dancer. She, her technique is gorgeous, her feet are gorgeous, but the way that she dances, it's so stunning. Sasha DeSola, if you watch her on stage, she's like a once in a generation dancer. She's so stunning. If you guys are in San Francisco, go watch her dance. Queen, yes. Oh, POV ballet guys. <laughs> she's trying to turn like the men. Michael teaching boys jumps to mostly girls class. <laughs> This looks fun. That looks so hard. Oh, oh, that's almost, almost. <laughs> I'd rather be doing pirouettes. Oh, that's pretty good. There should be like more boys tricks or boys jumps in girls class and then like more point shoes for men. Okay, that was the most insane beautiful group of people I've ever seen in my life. If you guys want us to continue the series of reacting to ballet dancers, let us know to keep on tagging us in these videos. And for our reveal, I know a lot of people thought I was gonna have a ballerina, but it's a boy. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.